Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find subdomains specifically for CTFs and certifications. So if you're gonna do any certifications in the future to become a penetration tester, you're gonna to need to be able to find subdomains outside of the typical way that we think of or videos that you've already seen that I have made or other people have made using online tools that are gonna go out and scrape for subdomains. You're gonna to need to be able to brute force for subdomains because if you're in a certification situation, those domains are not going to be made public. They're going to be internal on a network, and you're going to need to know how to brute force those subdomains. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And this is something that's really common inside of CTFs. And so I decided to go ahead and show you how to do this in a hack the box CTF. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and ran the nmap scan because I want you to see this right here. So we got this port 80 and on any kind of CTF and possibly inside of a certification, you might run into something like this. It says that the IP address that we ran did not resolve or it redirected us to shopee.hdb. But the problem is if we come out here and we run to our IP address that this box is running on, it's going to tell us unknown host shopee.htb and that was an accident we need to copy this and we need to add this to our etsy host file so we can come over here and we can just say sudo gedit and our etsy host and right here we can just go 10 10 11 1 80 and tab over and paste that in so we should be able to save this now and if we come back over here and refresh it should resolve here for us and it does so the next step in finding subdomains in a CTF or in a certification is now that this is resolving, we can go to Seclist. So you can come over here and just type in Seclist into Google and it's gonna be the first one. And what you'll do is just come over to code, you'll copy this, and I already have it in here, but then you would just CD over to your opt and then you would just type in git clone and it's gonna look like this. And you're going to paste in the github that we just the github page that we just cloned over here and you're going to go ahead and run that and it might take a little while depending on your internet speed i already have it saved here so if i ls you can see right here we have it so i'm going to go ahead and go back to my main directory clear the page and now we're going to go ahead and fuzz for the subdomain that we're trying to find so i'm going to go ahead and type out the fuff command and then walk you through it so here we go this is what it's going to look like so we have fuff with our dash u for our url we're going to have our dash h telling it we're looking for a host and we're going to have fuzz.htb and i think fuzz has to be in all caps and then we're going to do our word list and we're going to go where we saved it and we're going to say opt seclist discovery dns and there's several different subdomains you can use right here so if i delete this you can actually see that you can use different subdomain word lists and if we wanted to go really fast i think this top 1,005,000 right here should work for us. So we can put that in here instead of the last one. And we can go ahead and run this and it should pull down. Okay, we're getting a lot of redirects. So what we'll do is we'll add a dash FL. So this is a filter line. So we can do filter lines or FW for filter words or FS for filter size. But we'll just do filter lines and then we'll just say eight because that's what we're getting our redirect for. And we pull down this as our subdomain. So we can copy this. I went ahead and canceled this because I think there's only one subdomain. So we can paste this in and then we can add our dot right here. And it should take us to the subdomain here on our CTF. Okay, so it says that it doesn't resolve. And the reason this doesn't resolve is because we don't have it in our Etsy host file. So we can come over here and say sudo gedit our Etsy host again. And we can just put a space and we should be able to just paste this in right here and save it, close out, and now it should resolve for us here. And it's gone ahead and resolved for us. So that is how you would add this in here. So that is how we would find subdomains in CTFs or inside of any kind of certifications. If you wanna be a penetration tester and you plan on doing certifications, you're gonna to need to know how to brute force for subdomains because you're not gonna be able to go out to Google and find them that way or with any other tool that we would use, say for a bug bounty or anything that is live on the internet. So with that, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.